I wood chips and I put those, I strained them, I cooked them, and then after I left these in the dye vat overnight, normally I would not do that. I do sometimes. You absolutely have to have enough liquid to, um, to immerse the fabric in or you, it could be splotchy. So but there's always ways to correct things. So let's see. I haven't looked at the vat until now this morning. Let's see what color the Osage made on the linen scarf. Linen samples in here. Okay, this is overnight. Wait till I stir this. Whoa, that's amazing, that color. Now, whoa, it's quite, it's hot, but I can, you know, I really should have my gloves on. Look at that knit piece. Isn't that going to make a nice scarf? So, and when I have these in during the day, I'm minding the vat very much and I'm stirring because it has to be even color. When I um, turn the vat off in the evening, that's exactly what I do. I turn it off. I had already brought it up to and maintained it at a particular heat, uh, 185 degrees. And this is what I have today. So I have several different samples. I've got linen silk. I've got 100% linen and I have a, a knit as well. So that's what I have. I'm going to leave, stir it, and then I'm going to actually go for coffee and then come back and take them out and go from there. So thanks for dropping in Canada. Thanks for dropping in.